Now in South Africa we have the spirit quartz, central quartz crystals surrounded by the smaller ones. Now if I didn't know any better I'd think this was a spirit quartz which would be way abstract because we have it associated with what appears to be Shatukot. It's a, a cast of pretty solid quartz I think or actually a mixture of Shatukot and quartz this cast. There may be some traces of malachite over there, some, uh, well I can't really see the color here. I'd imagine, is it uh, maybe a bit greenish, crystalline section? A tiny piece, maybe double thumbnail, so not very large, but the, the form of this quartz formation is, is such, a, such an abstract, uh, uh, really. And the, the last thing I'd expect from the Katanga is, is to have that that form of the quartz. Now here we have most likely have some calcite which is coated with some girthite or heterogenite perhaps. Let's see how, if we can get in closer here. But of course this section is, is what appeals and, and I like to display a quartz crystal with the main point facing up but uh, on a turntable you'd have this effect going around like that. Lovely little guy. Uh, even this is quite appealing, where you have this bouquet of little quartz flowers sitting on this, on this matrix. Lovely, lovely little guy. It's, uh, and on a turntable, if you have it standing up like that, you have this effect, and you have this rather interesting section here too. Running across. All the way from Tantara in the Katanga, famous of course for the beautiful shatukites and dive tazers which come out of there. 